Hey friends, it's Dwight. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great start to the weekend. So today I'm gonna to do a pour on a 36 by 24 canvas, and I'm gonna be doing a dump and swirl. Now I'm gonna be using exclusively the Deco Art Americana brand paints. I'm gonna be using a blue palette. But before we get started, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you my very first successful uh, dump and swirl. And it was based on Melly D's original formula, which was Deco Art Americana brand paints, a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium, and water. There was no Floetrol added to this. So this is a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. Let's see if I can, there you go. There we have it. That was my very first successful um, dump and swirl. It's hanging in my house. I really love it. Sorry about the glare there. But you can see it's got the blues and a little bit of ring of white. So that was one of my favorite paintings and I have kept it on the wall ever since. Okay guys, the cats are getting restless. Um, I need to get started here, so hold on, sit back, and um, we'll get started. But real quick, when I'm done with this, I will show you the dried results, and I'm probably gonna go in and do some touch-ups, so we'll add that to the end of the video as well, then show you the final complete painting when it's all done. Okay guys, thank you, and we'll see you in a few, hold on. Okay, friends, here we are. It dried, and um, we are gonna go in and we're gonna clean up around through here and highlight some of the cells around the negative space. Now, I like the blue. Blue is my favorite color. I like the movement you can see sort of just sort of wisping through. So yeah, hold on. I'm gonna put this on time-lapse and uh, I will show you the final results. But first, let me just move in a little bit, show you some of the cells. There are bunches of them everywhere. So there's a little bit better view of what I'm gonna clean up. 
I might take some of these out in here that are kind of fragmented and just dot the middle with the color that you see to brighten it up. That is all. Okay guys, sit back, hold on, and here we go. is Dwight. I am back to show you the dried results. Here I have it hanging on the wall and I've done all my touch-ups and I am loving it. Let me show you up close what I did. So as you can see I went in and I touched up the centers of the cells around the negative space with the color that was already in the center of the cells. Now here's the other part of the painting. It's a lot bluer than it looks in the video here. Now I know you might see some blotchiness, but when I go ahead and varnish this, um, the blotchiness disappears and the rest of the color really will pop. So guys, there we have it. Move back. This is a 36 by 24 canvas, um, galley wrapped. And yeah, this is great. I'm loving this orientation. And then I'll let it dry for a couple of weeks and then I'll varnish it. Okay guys, have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you soon.